Now, I know last season, because the show's become so popular, the contestants know what's up. So I know last year was sort of a little, you know, wild love, you know, this is what you're here for. And then surprise, no, you're not. Um, did you find that to be another challenge with this season? You know, the whole element of, of surprise. And yeah. And from what I observed, um, the producers, they did an amazing job, like keeping it like under wraps and, and keeping everything tight knit with uh, like with the whole thing, because I I knew we were doing it like half a year before we even got there. Yeah. Um, but like once for the contestants, though, um, I feel it was a big surprise. And uh, some might be savvy where they saw like where their where their one way ticket was going to to a beautiful destination. They might have been like, oh, I know where I'm going. Yeah. So that that could have played a part. But I feel for the most part for the actual experience, um, they were definitely surprised. OK, so there will be a twist like last season. Always like whenever Lana's in the house there's always a twist. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. So that's, that is very cool. That is very cool. Now, you know, it's also interesting Like once they're in the house, are you finding now that they're doing more gameplay than, you know, kind of following their heart as well just for that, that money? Um, in regards to connecting? Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, the ultimate goal is to win the money up. I mean, that could be. So are you finding, like, are you seeing people using more strategy um, in order to get the money and and instead of just kind of following their heart yeah you know honestly like with the whole money money thing i i, I feel it's like it's a definitely a beautiful bonus but um but at, in, in the real scheme of things i feel like because it's a whole villa it's a house and and things i feel like the money becomes secondary in regards and i feel um a lot of the contestants like they they pair up and they're like all right let's give it our best go and see what happens which is that's what we technically want like give it your best go without it being sex-based Right. And um, and I feel there might be some contestants who like, let's say, let's partner up and do this. But the ones that I've saw do that in the past and observe, it kind of crumbled and fell pretty quickly. Oh, interesting. OK. Yeah. OK. Because yeah. I know like the like the show The Bachelor, for example, that started out as a very authentic show. And at this point, we've got a lot of strategy going on. So it's hard to like keep it. Yeah. And this one, I think it happens so fast. Like, um, like as like, as far as like the whole filming thing, like it's yeah. within a month and, and I feel cause the bachelors I feel spread out right over a few yeah. weeks or something. Yeah. I feel like this happened so fast. It's like a big boom that they don't even have time to like create a strategy or work together. And also there's, there's 24 hour, like CCTV things like in the, in the retreat. So yeah. it's like, if anybody's going to be conspiring, like it'll be found out pretty quickly. Yeah, right. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> now, I mean. Obviously, producers are genius with the casting. Um, do you what do you know as far as that what goes into like getting these really good cast members for the show? Any specific reports? Yeah, big personalities. Like I feel like we've from season one, we've had amazing big personalities, and we've had people who are um, who are absolutely like willing to you know one to put themselves out there, and then two. Um, because when they find out it's a celibacy retreat, a lot of them, they have the option to leave. A lot of them don't have to stay if they don't want to. But I feel like they casted specific people who are amazing that like, um, they were willing to push their edges a little bit and to try something new. So I give the production team big kudos to, to finding people who just wouldn't be like, actually no sex, no alcohol. I'm out. Bye. Like I'm, I'm, I'm really, yeah, I give them a lot of props for that. Right, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So as far as your interaction goes with the contestants, what has been sort of like your favorite parts about being a part of this experience? Yeah, for me, um, well, it's been getting to know like just just new people from around the world. And then um, the one thing is that because they're so consumed in their experience in the retreat inside of the beautiful um, villa that they're in, that whenever they have these workshops with myself or, or Shambudrum or in the other season it was Matilda, like whenever we have these beautiful um, uh, workshops, it's like they're ready and eager because they just been around each other, around around the producers. And, and they're like, actually, like we're really, we're ready to go in because it's something new. So my interaction with them has been super genuine, like especially like I, I have so many like um, amazing cool dudes like Seb and, and Ethan and Nathan and like um, like uh, James. There's just so many cool guys that I've I've um, come along the way and, and like grew some relationships with because they're really cool guys. You know, they're really cool kids. 
Yeah, yeah. And I'm sure that, you know, developing relationships with the contestants as you go along, you've probably seen some some pretty cool evolutions, you know, in, you know, them discovering who they are. You know, is, is there anybody you can look back that you're like, wow, when I first met this person, they were this way and now they're, you know, more in touch with themselves or... Yeah, several of them, and notably um, because I did like one on one workshops with him in season three with Nathan. Um, I actually like working with him like in Turks and Caicos. And then also um, just this past uh, October, November, I was in London hanging out and me and him like we had some quality time as well. So just seeing like how he's transformed over the last couple of years and as he's maturing, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm really happy with that. And then also some of the other cast members too, like. Um, like even both from season three, like she was, she's like funny, like she's into astrology and all those things. So seeing them little by little, like expressing who they really are on their social medias is, it's really gratifying for me. <laughs>